Mission Doctor's Adventures. We're on the Queen Elizabeth II, heading south towards Red Deer. I'm in Alberta, and we're going to Sylvan Lake today. Our goal is to target the whitefish. I tried last year with my father-in-law, but they weren't biting at all, so there was no video on that uh, day. It was really cold, and we didn't actually spend that much time out there. Today, it's minus 11 this morning, coldest day so far this week. I hope they're still biting. And the guys in the last two weeks have been posting good reports out there, catching whitefish. So my goal is to head out there and put up a tent, do some sight fishing for whitefish today. So stick around, should be a fun day. Thanks for joining in. Just unloaded the truck, parked it just shallow on the ice because it's not too thick yet. I'm gonna walk out there, somewhere out there by the tent and set up and see if we can find some whitefish. Let's go. How deep is it right there? Huh? Uh, how deep? 14 feet. Okay. Well, I see the telltale sign of fish. Fresh blood. Let's try here around here. caught a perch about nine and a half inches and I've seen a few whites go by here at least uh, what I think are whites look at that just set up my rod with two hooks two perch came in and grabbed it well hopefully some white fish are coming around these perch look bigger down there than they are they're so aggressive but I'm looking for white fish not these little perch Perch, perch, lots of perch. Little guys though. Well check this out, I was fishing in the tent and I uh, wasn't getting much. Came outside hopping around and boom, one came through. Got that one, a little bit smaller. And then uh, that first one was on a yellow wire worm. And this one, on a little tiny spoon. Hopefully we can get some bigger ones coming through. I saw a bigger one go by down the hole. Well, I'll keep a couple smaller ones and I'll wait for three bigger ones maybe. So that's what we're after, whitefish. We got two and we got one perch. Let's keep fishing here, see if we get more. Just tied it up with a little spoon like this from Northland Tackle, I think. And then uh, a yellow wire worm above horizontally like that no bait on it okay funny thing is caught those two right away then I grabbed the camera and of course they stopped coming by so let's move out a little deeper I've seen this guy hook a few fish out deeper but I'm not sure I saw one for sure it was a pike I'm not sure what else he's catching but let's go try my deeper holes look at this like Kermit's spot just talking to my dad. I just dropped this hook on the spoon again down to the bottom and this one just grabbed it. Look at that. They're not huge but you know that's all I'm getting today so I'll keep my limit of those size. Maybe get bigger ones later. Lots of little perch and sylvan this year like that. Hopefully that's a good sign for the next few years. Man, 
these whites I just cannot catch on camera today. It's crazy. Every time I put the camera off, they bite. That one came in, looked at my spoon, and then he grabbed the wire worm. Here we go, there we go, got that one. Yeah, that's a better one, I think. That's a better one, that's a better one. That's a better fish. He hit that spoon. There we go. That was a good fight on that spoon. Look at that, they just came in. I dropped it down close to the bottom and he smoked it that time. He came in a few times before, but he wasn't eating it. And then finally on that little flutter spoon, that one came in real close to the bottom and I, just, I dropped it in the mud and uh, worked it closer to the bottom and he bit. So today I came out to Sylvan Lake and came out to a bay where it's a lot of just a shallow sandy flat with a gradual slope on it. Started out drilling holes and looking for a depth where I could find the fish. First hole that I drilled was about 13, 14 feet deep and I drilled all the way into six feet. I started fishing around that 10 to 12 foot range and I was finding lots of little perch and the odd white that would swim by but wasn't biting earlier in the day. Kept uh, hopping holes and found around the 9 to 10 foot range would have the odd white coming through and hooked up a few in the middle of the day. It seemed like when the moon actually rose, some people talk about when the moon rises there's a bite time. Definitely seems to coincide. I got four right around the time of the moon rise and now the sun is getting close to the horizon and they seem to be biting again. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. That might be a perch. Hole hopping really helps you find the fish out here. Seems like you move to a new hole and you'd catch one or two or see some. And if you don't get moving around and you just sit in one hole, you may not see a whole lot of fish all day if you're in a slightly the wrong place. Lots of these little perch in here this year. A little bit of a nuisance, but that's a good sign. Perch population is doing well. I heard a guy who was in shallow with the tent all day. He said he only saw one and only caught one. So sometimes that's why sitting in one hole all day really isn't that beneficial because you end up missing out on the fish that are cruising through at different uh, water depths. Here comes one. Ooh. I think that's a white. Here comes him. There you go. I got him. Oh, that's a. Is that a pike? What a. Oh, a nice big white. White. Oh, that's a nice big one. Look at that white. That's a nice big white right there, huh? Beautiful white. That one came in really fast and was really chasing it like a super aggressive fish. Oh, there, there's another one I think already. No, nope. yeah, there's perch on the bottom. But these white fish that are super aggressive like that, they come in and actually chase the lure. It's usually because they're feeding on minnows. And uh, they're a lot of fun to catch those minnow, minnow biting uh, white fish. Today I'm just using one of these circle tackle rods, their full circle series. This is the Panfish 36. Works really nice for these white fish too. Really nice soft tip since white fish have a soft mouth but it still has a nice back backbone so you can get a good hook set if you need to. There we go. Another white. Another white on that uh, spoon. Look at that.
Sun's going down, but here's my catch for today. Got what, about a nine and a half inch perch in the middle. One nice big white and four smaller ones. Also released a few, so that's a pretty good day. I'd like to hold out for the bigger ones like that, but today all I'm seeing to catch is the smaller ones. Only big one. Oh, well, they're in there. That's good to know, because it's my first time actually catching whitefish in this lake. So I feel like that's decent. The first time I tried last year, saw a few come in in the tent, but they wouldn't bite. These ones are much more aggressive today, a lot more fun to fish for. Finally got one on camera. It's not a big one. Little guy. But little guy, the last one I actually released was a bit bigger than that, but my time is running short, so I need one more fish after this one. Got got one. Well that's a good one. Yeah, he's fighting good. That one just came in right away. Moved out to deeper water, like 16 feet. Put the spoon, boom. Got the perch, little perch. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. Joining me on Sylvan Lake and how you catch whitefish out here. I guess it can be done. I was just using a small little spoon as you saw, yellow wireworm, jigging it quite continuously and when they come around just keep it twi twitching and uh, wait for that bite. They kind of bite like a slow pull. I think they inhale it and then they just swim away. So it's not re really like a sharp bite. It's just more like they grab it and swim. So be ready for that kind of bite. And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share with a friend, and maybe you'll get out here too at Sylvan Lake this winter. Hope you enjoy the video. See you later. God bless. Go catch a big one. A little bigger perch, but still not big enough to keep.